Hello and welcome to this episode of Geophysics Made Easy with Blueback Reservoir. Today we're going to look at cross-plotting seismic. Today we're going to use the Geodata Investigator together with the Spatial Selector. We're going to define an area of interest using our Spatial Selector, create an investigation and add different sets of seismic data to that, open that up in a cross-plot window, make a simple selection and view the results back in the portrayal windows. So in effect we're after this kind of result we're going to have a simple plot of the seismic data where we make a selection and then visualize the results back in portrayals different windows. So let's take a look at how um, that works. So from portrayal I'm just going to open up a new uh, 3D window in uh, time and display my um, seismic, my inline and my crossline. And then we're roughly going to just zoom this to my um, area of interest to help me build that up. So I have an area here that I want to um, investigate with the uh, cross plotter. So the first thing to do is to right click on the seismic and say insert new blueback spatial seismic uh, probe, like so. And then what I can do is with the process and the probe active is to just pick and readjust the area of interest here. So I'm going to zoom into a small area here around my zone of interest. Just adjust it on this side slightly. Like so. And if I double click on the settings for the probe here, you can also see some additional options that are available. So in the, under the Geometry tab, I can use um, a set of surfaces if I want to uh, constrain it a little bit further. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it as it is. The next step is then create an investigation and load it with some data. And I can do that quite easily by right-clicking on the spatial selection and saying Create GDI Investigation. And this is then created, populated using the visible data. So I have one seismic data set there. But I'm going to add in two more and choose my intercept and my gradient. And I'm also going to be a bit more generous with the decimation since I have a fairly small probe. Then just uh, press OK. Next, once this is created, right click on the investigation and say show in blueback cross plot window. just takes a second to load the seismic data and then set the axis to for example intercept versus gradient by right clicking on the axis here. Now I want to make a <coughs> simple selection around this um, anomalous points here and view where those are back in the portrayal windows. So I'm just going to create a simple uh, polygon filter here and just choose uh, something like so. Right, so now it's time to view that back in the portrayal window. So I'm going to just tile my <coughs> windows here like so. And then in the 3D window, I can now simply just toggle on the investigation. And this will display all points in the investigation. And you can see there that contrast between red and blue. So to make things a bit easier, I'm just going to go to the portrayal window style here and filter off the red objects and there I have then just the zone of interest that I want. So now I'm going to show how we can be a little bit <coughs> interactive with this. So first of all I could easily just move my selection in the cross plot window here and it will change the points in the display here and once I'm happy with a nice uh, constraint here over a selection of points I then want to maybe expand the probe a bit to include a few more. So then I'm going to expand the probe out by dragging the handles, like so. And then I'm just going to right click on the investigation and say refresh points. So now you can see that I've managed to expand the selection here just by moving the probe and further uh, investigating this um, anomaly here. 
In addition, what I want to show is that we can do this kind of work in more than one window. So I can right click on my um, inline here and say create interpretation window. And again, I can then toggle on my investigation as before. And also the probe that I'm using. And again, I'm going to just filter off the non-selected points using the Portrayal window style. And here you see I have the <coughs> probe as before um, in my Portrayal interpretation window. And again, this is an interactive process which you can work together with these two windows in place. And now I have a few more extra points. Thanks for listening, and as always, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.